As we mentioned, Duval County students return to school this Thursday, and while some will continue their education online, most will be back in the classroom. In fact, we've talked extensively about the changes that will be in place to protect students and teachers from the virus on campus. But what about when they leave? As News for Jax reporter Zach Lajway found out, high school students look forward to the opportunity to leave campus for lunch. DCPS says their students will still have the option to leave on campus for lunch. This is great news for businesses near high schools. When they arrive back on campus, they will have to have their temperature retaken just like they do when they arrive for the day. Yes, sir. Anything else for you? When Juliana Bahai is not answering phones, the owner of lunch break is busy preparing food and drink. Almost 27 years. That's how long customers have been breaking for lunch at the Edgewood Avenue North restaurant. We have a lot of businesses around us, a lot of workers, and there is a lot of schools around us and high schools. So we got a lot of teachers, and uh, during the school time, we have the high schooler coming in here like Paxton High School. Baha'i says business is different because of COVID-19. Like, like Paxton, when we used to have the students. Aside from the obvious changes like fewer tables, shields by the register, markers for social distancing, and signs that say face masks are a must, the volume of business is different and could be moving forward. This pandemic of being rough on everybody, we felt it, everybody is feeling it, so uh, yes, I'm concerned. And as I said, we have a lot of teachers and students coming in, like first day coming back, like uh, planning days. We had like a full line full of teachers. According to Duval County Public Schools, students who opt for in-person learning will still have the option to leave campus for lunch. They will have their temperature checked when they return and must follow other sanitization guidelines like hand washing. As for Baha'i, she's hoping for the business they used to have. Very busy, lying through the door. I spoke to several mom and pop businesses near high schools. They say they are really banking on business, not only from the community, but from schools as well. And they say they are hopeful for the 2020-2021 school year. Reporting in Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.